True of Life do record a dramatic reading of the dialogue from True of Life and put it on the internet. Done. Hello and welcome to Dink Smallwood PT, where I am about to play this particular demod. Well, I say play, but hmm. we'll see. So I'm going to give this a go. I haven't played this yet. I just read uh, Tim Wow's review on the uh, Dink Network because he's doing that whole playthrough thing. You can take a look at that on the main uh, site. Interesting choice of music for a title screen. Okay, let's go. Um, no introduction, straight into it. I don't see anything here. Is a sign with no script. There's nothing in the barrel. And all we have is a sword, okay. Guess we'll go south. Hello, sir! Ask where Fred asked to have money. Hey, my name is Dink Smaller. Do you have any small... Uh, my name is James Eastwood. Fred went that house. Thanks. Okay, bye. Uh, sad face. Bye bye. I don't understand the sad face thing. <coughs> So I'm trying to do that little dramatic reading thing. That was a poor first example. I'm not in the right frame of mind yet. I'm tired. I'm a little bit sick. And let's see. Do you have money? Do you have money? No! But go that house and then go east. There is money. Bye! Man, don't hit me! Whoa, okay, that's not east for starters. But hey, why not ever? I don't understand why there are four arrows. One arrow inside another arrow. Okay. So, not a lot of combat. Hang on. Okay, that's what that arrow is supposed to represent. I guess. Attack. So. What? The hell is this? Timo. Heavier. Birth. Six twenty-six, nineteen eighty-nine. Talon. Estonia, and I guess that's supposed to be an email address that is slightly cut off, so... Interesting. A screen with some signs that I guess don't entirely make sense. Teemo. I hate Teemo, but that's a League of Legends reference. It has nothing to do with this game. So one of these appears... Hang on. Sure. Never mind. One of those had hardness for a second. I'm not entirely sure what that was all about. Hello, sir. All right. Some interesting tiling. Empty screen. Up some stairs. There's a cliff. There's a rock. I miss Fireball. You gotta admit, it's beautiful just having the chance to burn down trees. Well, he was right about the gold, except this isn't east. So... He needs to learn to never eat salty wheat mix. Another house here. Oh wait, east would be through that hole in the fence there, so let's take a look at this down here then, shall we? Whoa, God! <laughs> I think I was warned about that particular room. Thanks. Man, don't hit me! So 
So I'm not going to try to read this dramatically it would seem at the moment, at least so far. But, yeah. I needed something to do, I got bored, it's late. Let's try that again, shall we? Uh, I will do this. Because that was interesting. Gone. <laughs> Free money. So that was a pointless save, I'm going to ignore it. There's a house here. Some very empty screens. Oh, eat it. No, never mind. I was going to try. <laughs> so. Let's see if I can get that gold again. Nope. Yeah. So I had I was forewarned that um this is a but um ow ow that's not helpful a bit excessive in the insanity of damage that you'll receive particularly from the dragons it would seem. It's interesting though, because we're given mega potions at the start, but no gold hearts, so that was disappointing. I guess we'll do all attack. Go explore up here for a second. So this is all just screen locks with pill bugs. So I was, um, yeah, I was reading the review on, well, not quite, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say review, but it's sort of a review, it's just the, the opinions of the resident coconut monkey, Coco monkey, on playing various D mods, and this was the latest post at the time on the list, which is why you get a brief look at it. So. Hang on. Were there two pull bugs there or three? I only saw two. And one dropped a big heart. But they were both still alive when it leveled me up. Odd. But hey, big heart. Good enough for me. Ooh. Warning. Warning. Why is it a warning? I'm gonna go explore that other house first, I think. That looks like it's supposed to be the end point or the next area. Dun, 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 dun. Um, the music seems interesting enough. Another big heart, okay. It's rather plain though, it's all piano. It's not too bad though, I'll give you that much. But yeah, starting with mega potions and then just none of those health gold hearts is a bit of a downside. That looks like there's an extra gate there, okay. And that cliff is just abruptly ended. That pill bug is ended as well. I sliced it. Oh, dragon. Oh, dragon. No. Just kidding. It's a very bland map, though. At least there's water, I guess. Okay. So. That's interesting. There's a random music change here. I don't understand. Is there something else I'm supposed to do? No. Okay, I'm done. Uh, that's the dragon. There was another house though. Dun, dun, dun. Here it is. So I was also told about this guy. Do you want to buy a flame throw? <coughs> a flame bow, sorry. Do you want to buy a flame bow? Buy the flame bow for 2,000 gold or leave. 2,000 
50,000 gold. That's a lot of pointless grinding. Oh, there's a save machine at least. Get rid of that hacked one that I used. So. Uh, interesting hardness setup. Anyways, another thing I decided to try and do is, um, let's see what I can do without cheating. By that one save point where I wanted to take a look and see if I could get past the dragons to get the gold. For no reason, because it obviously didn't give me enough for the fire bomb. Yeah. So we've got a hole in the side of the house. What the? What? That just puts me back here. What? Okay. So that hole, I guess, was meant to be a teleport straight back to the guy with the flame bar. What's the point? I don't understand. Why would you break a house wall, smashing a black hole into it, and then enchanting it with the ability to tell? What the hell? So that's the second one. Um, okay. I'm sorry, but, uh... Dramatic running! Okay. So... I said I wasn't going to use cheats. Set beacon. So, that teleports you. Return to beacon. So, the hole here, that crack... Yeah. Mysterious teleporting holes in the wrong button. So that's the developer's um, cheat screen that you can use. So is it warning us of mysterious teleportation effects? Ooh, I can sneak around. Where am I? I can't see where I. Oh, there I am. That one teleports us to. Okay, so that explains everything. Let's go inside. Oh, it didn't teleport us to the other thing. Fred! Can you hear me? Thanks, Morwood. Help me! What happened? Fred? Who? Shit. Okay, that I think that was deliberately meant to say shit. Somehow. Um Ask are you death? Are you death? Have you come to reap my soul? No. Good. But what? Nothing. Oh no! It's him! What's Seth? Yes, I am Seth. Kill him, Dink. Kill him. Fuck off. You little bitch. But I killed you. I'm not even facing you. Are you dumb, Dink? I don't die ever. Dink! Run! Cast explosion. Fred? Grins evilly at you. Now I kill you, little bitch! That is how Dink joined his friend in the afterlife, murdered by the one and only ancient Seth, respawned at the hands of one, uh, Timo. Thank you for watching. Um, <laughs> this was a bit of a troll of an episode, because why not? I guess. And we'll... I'll be back next time with a more serious video for this channel. In the meantime, bye.